Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face the day. I am uh, thankful for the weekend. Got to um, have a good time there at our jam. Got to fellowship with some of the folks at Community Bible Church yesterday for their 60th anniversary homecoming in the first pulpit I ever preached in in that church. And so it was a blessing. I di we didn't stay for the dinner because we had something at our church that afternoon. So uh, for those of you that we got to see, for those of you we didn't say hi to or we didn't get to, if you watch this today, hi. <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, I'm going to read to you from this little book again, Revival Today, June 24th, 1904, Life's Purpose. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19.10 On June 24, 1904, William Booth, founder of the Salvation Army, took a pen and some paper and wrote a simple poem describing his life. Some men's ambition is art. Some men's ambition is fame. Some men's ambition is gold. My ambition is the souls of men. He told his wife, after a camp meeting in London many years before, O oh, Kate, I have found my destiny. These are the people for whose salvation I have been longing for all these years. I passed the doors of the flaming sin palaces tonight. I seemed to hear a voice sounding in my ears. Where can you go to find such a heathen as these? And where is there so great need? For your labors. And there and then in my soul I offered up myself and you and the children to do this great work. These people shall be our people, and they shall have our God for their God. Eight short years after writing that simple poem, God would call William Booth to heaven. Booth, however, had raised up an army of workers who made the salvation of men their primary purpose. What is your life purpose. Do you have one? The purpose of Jesus Christ is coming to this world to seek and to save the lost. And that's Luke 19.10. Has been given to us. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. Second Corinthians 5, 19, and 20. Will you serve in your position as an ambassador for Christ faithfully today? <laughs> I think of my friends Brad and Gina Harris and their daughter Allie and how they serve in the Salvation Army. And, um, I just what a blessed occupation, job, um, that you would look at that and think a career, but it's more than that. But it's a call, and it's a call that all of us have to spread the Word of God, to deliver the Word of God. It might not be something that you do for a living, but you should live to do it. And so should I. I was asked about this song the other night uh, at our jam um, by Sister Connie Goodson. And I, of course, had heard it. I knew it was a Dottie Rambo song. I'd heard some other folks do it. I'd never tried it. Buck and Dottie and Reba, if you listen to them, they they were extraordinary at what they did, I believe. And uh, their tempo, their beat, all those things. We'll see what we can do with it. I've watched the hand of death reach out to love ones. It nearly broke my heart to say goodbye. But I heard an old friend say as he was leaving, I've been waiting oh so long for God's chariot to take me home. The grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side. The roses never ever die, God's river 
never runs dry. Children play forever on the hills of freedom. No more wars to pull a home apart. Heaven's claims, no tears or broken hearts. Grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side. This world with all its beauty, oh so little. Now I could leave today and be satisfied. Now I hope that you don't think that I'm ungrateful. But I caught a glimpse of glory and my mind is fixed on leaving. Cause the grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side. The roses never ever die, God's river never runs dry. Children play forever on the hills of freedom. No more wars to pull a home apart. Heaven claims no tears or broken hearts. The grass is greener on the other side. 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 The roses never ever die. God's river there never runs dry. Children play forever on the hills of freedom. No more wars to pull a home apart. Heaven claims no tears or broken hearts. The grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side. Lord, I thank you today for all you do for us, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity to witness to those that are lost and God to do the best that we can do to help them see their need for salvation. We love you, Lord. We thank you. The labor here, um, God, is something that we only do for you to see souls of men saved. But God, one day that will be over and we will be where that grass is greener and there'll be no more pain or suffering or fear or torment. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for all you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.